Hello everyone, we are here with Talula Roberts, popularly known as Lula Robs, who is making her debut at the 44th Chess Olympiad. So, Lula, tell us how has been your debut so far? Um, so far, I'm on zero of three. Um, but, you know, it was always going to be difficult, I think, going in as one of the lowest seeded countries. And like, I've only been playing chess for a year and a half. So it's kind of crazy that I'm here, to be honest, and it's, it's very tiring, it's very overwhelming, but it's also very exciting as well, and I've met so many cool people, I'm just very happy to be here. So how did you come up with Lula Robs? I mean, uh, that is definitely a shortened version of your name. Yeah, it's just, I cut the ends off, <laughs> that's <Okay>. it. <laughs> and how did you get into streaming and uh, getting into chess? Um, I started playing chess December 2020 and then I started streaming chess like a couple of months later. Uh, I just thought that streaming was like, it looked very cool and I, I had wanted to do it for a while but there were none, none of the like video games that I liked were popular on Twitch so I never did it. Um, so after I started playing chess I just kind of bit the bullet and jumped in and did it and I was only like 700 rated online at the time and I think that um, I just didn't really realize how bad it was at chess. Uh, if I, I love streaming and I feel really lucky to have my community. But like, if I started, like, if I wasn't a streamer and I was like 1500 or 1600 like I am now, I would be way too nervous to start streaming. I think because I would be like, oh, I'm so bad. But like when I was 700, I just didn't care. <laughs> so during the Olympiad, also you are streaming. So how are you balancing both? Yeah, so I'm only streaming a little bit. I'm streaming in the evenings when I have time. And then my friends are commentating my games. So they are streaming all like whilst I'm in the playing hall, um, which I'm really lucky to have people that are able to do that for me. So that's how I'm kind of keeping everything maintained. So Mr. Dodgy is the coach, uh, or Michael Duke is the coach mm -hmm. of yeah. the Jersey team. Yes. So how has it been working with him? Um, he's actually very supportive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's been really good. We had a bunch of lessons. We had weekly lessons um, and, you know, Chassable courses and um, like Chassable and Chass.com sponsoring us was crazy. Like it was amazing for the coaching and support. So yeah, Mr. Dodgy is actually, he's a really good coach. Like there was a joke in the trailer that we like wanted literally anybody else, but no, he's actually like, He's good, yeah. And uh, how how are the games have been uh, so far for you? Um, like, did you enjoy playing here at yeah, the Olympiad? I love classical chess, so um, I'm enjoying it. It's very uh, frustrating because I've had, you know, I've had two really good positions yesterday. Yesterday, um, I was worse at the opening. I managed to equalize, and then I couldn't hold the ending. Um, but yeah, round one and today, today I was just like clean up a pawn. My opponent had no comp compensation and I went into a pawn up ending um, and it was getting very drawish and I think that was a me problem, but it was getting very drawish. So I thought that I had, I thought that I had like a tactic to get like a pass pawn. So I sacked a piece for a pass pawn and I just completely miscalculated and I ended up losing. So it, it's very, um, it's brutal when you spend, like, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like se after seven, but I was in there obviously since three o'clock and then like, you know, losing. Um, it's very uh, tough, um, but when you win or when you feel like you've played your best and you feel very proud of yourself, it's also very rewarding. You said that none of the video games you are into has a lot of Twitch subscribers. May I know which video games do you like to play? <laughs> yeah, I mean, since starting playing chess, I don't really play so many video games anymore. But like, video games that I was playing were like Skyrim and like Portal 2 and like kind of things that came out almost like 10 years ago. And so like, they don't really have, like I don't really play like Valorant or like online games. So yeah, unless you already have an audience, which I didn't at the time, you kind of have to stream something that's a bit more popular. Yeah. Portal 2 is one of my favorite, I must say. Yeah, it's so fun. I <laughs> yeah. love it. Yeah. I love the main story and co-op both. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, how has been, this is your first visit to India, I guess? Yes. Yeah. I've never been to India before. It's my first time. And how has it been, uh, how has it been your experience so far? Um, so far, everybody has been really nice and very welcoming. 
Uh, so I feel I feel a lot um, less homesick maybe than I thought I would be just because everybody has been taking really good care of us um, and yeah I was a little bit worried coming out here on my own because I didn't bring like a friend or anyone you know quite quite a few people did um, so I was worried that I wasn't gonna have like a support network but no it, it's been really nice and I I would love to come back and actually do more exploring and see other parts of India next time Thank you very much, Taluda, for your valuable time and I wish you all the best for the rest of the Olympiad. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.